so Obama met up with a group of black men. Some of them were probably prominent, maybe a cop, a politician or two, but you know, just regular everyday brothers. And um, of course it was about politics and voting. Of course, Obama wants um, black men and black people to support the Democratic Party and the election of Kamala Harris, but we know presidents are selected. This is not what that video, uh, what this video is about. But they were talking, they got into their concerns as a constituency, black American men. So tell me why, out of all the concerns that that black men have out of all the issues that they have why would the first major concern would be child support and and the thing about the child support is that they want to eliminate child support forced child support support in other words they just told the whole world that one of their main objectives as a man is to not have to take care of their offspring. That was the main objective on the table. Now, don't get me wrong. I personally believe that a lot of child support laws need to change and some just need to be done away with. For instance, just because a man is delinquent on child support doesn't give you a, a right to take away his passport so he can't travel. Why you put men in jail? Because it's mostly men going to jail for child support. How are you going to pay child support if he's in jail? They will even take away a man's professional licenses. How are you going to work? How is he going to work and perform his duty? How are you going to... He, he can't do nothing. Then you take away his license too? How are you going to get to work? How are you going to get around? Just because he's delinquent on child support. Now, I am not, uh, you know, belittling. Uh, of course, uh, uh, children need to be taken care of, period. They need to be taken care of. So I, I am not, you know, trying to make it seem that it's not, in, uh, child support is not important for the child, okay? It costs to take care of children. I, I understand and I get it. But these Dracon laws against men does not help the cause not one bit. But again, regardless, you told the world that you do not want to take care of your children, black men. You think that they're going to ever be able to respect you? They don't respect you as it is, but now they really side-eyeing you. You ought to be tired of being the laughing stock of America and the world. How the hell did child support come before mass incarceration? Judicial racism economic the lack of economic opportunities the lack of jobs why weren't why wasn't a uh, business on the table funding for business grants and loans specifically for black american men to build up uh, their entrepreneur objectives and goals give them a way to finance those objectives and goals. Why wasn't that on the table? What about health? Black people, period, especially our men, suffer from high blood pressure disproportionately. Why don't you rally science to try to figure out how we can lower this trend among our people? High blood pressure is dangerous. All these issues, the ones that I mentioned and so many more, and your main, the main thing that you 
you want the government to get rid of is making you pay child support, making you take care of your offspring. Oh my God, your objectives are are backwards and upside down. You want to be on the table. You and uh, you want your your situation and your your object your your what what it is that you you feel is important for your your development and your safety in this society and your protection. You want it on the table, but you coming you 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 coming like this. Nobody's gonna respect that. Nobody res respects a man trying to get out of taking care of his own flesh and blood. Ain't nobody going to respect that. Ain't nobody thinking about no agenda for black men. Ain't nobody, don't nobody want to put your, your issues on the table to discuss, to, to rally against, or, or, excuse me, rally for, or nothing. You have permanently lost the respect of the whole world. If I felt like I wish that the government would not make me take care of my children. I wouldn't tell nobody that. You look like a bunch of fools in that place. Talking to this man who used to be uh, in the position of United States president was so for eight years. Talking about you want to do away with child support. Boy, I tell you. All these issues that we have. Our communities destroyed by Drugs and gang violence. A large number percentage of our children being born out of wedlock. Lack of economic opportunities. And your main objective, what you want to be rem remembered for, what you want the politicians to put on the table in order to get your vote is to release you of the ability are not the ability, but the responsibility to take care of your offspring. Y'all are going backwards. Y'all need to pray, get on your knees, need to ask for uh, direction and forgiveness. This is pitiful. This is unacceptable. Do better, black man. Do better, brothers. You just embarrassing yourself. Like I said, you could have, you should, you should have kept that under wraps. That's something that you, you talk. You talk about behind closed doors. You don't want no, the whole world to know you don't want to take care of your kids. Oh, goodness. So that's all I got to say about this uh, particular uh, situation right here and now. Um, thank you all for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Peace.